Well, Mr. Shimatsu, can you understand why China is condemning it? What exactly is Jukendo and how is it different from other martial arts? All right. Arts? Uh, traditional martial arts in Japan were related to the samurai class who were all ethically trained in Confucian values. In other words, killing under Confucian values is a terrible thing to do, and you only do it in defense or when you know uh, there's uh, warfare and so on, and you've got to protect civilian populations or hunt down bandits and so on and so forth. You know, it's, it's a very, so basically use of weapons was considered dangerous and only used by people who understood the rationale for using them. So we have the traditional uh, uh, martial, art, uh, martial arts of uh, kendo, swordsmanship, of naginata, spears, mm -hmm. and uh, kudo, which is archery. Judo is relatively recent. It came in the post-war. I practiced judo because uh, you don't use weapons, you know, and the idea is, well, we want to relinquish war, and, and, and the idea of it, we try to move it away from weaponry to an art, an art that we practice at, on its, for its own merit, so that we see that weapons are part of our culture, but, you know, they should not be just brutal instruments for killing. Now, Jukendo came up when we developed a modern army in the Meiji era. We overthrew the shogunate, and people used rifles and bayonets. And, but these were not samurais. They were co uh, common soldiers who followed orders from their officers. Unfortunately, this became the weapon of choice when Japan invaded the Korean Peninsula, uh, when Japan took part in the interventions mm -hmm. in, in, in Beijing against the Chinese government with the uh, eight, eight, eight country interventions, and of course in Manchuria and so on, in, in North, Northeast Japan. That's why so, China has a big problem with, uh, with this kind a of A terrible, practice. terrible memory, because yeah. you know, Japan was, at, although it was a powerful country, disciplined country, it did not have enough resources, so they tried to save ammunition, and they would routinely use the band. Many Americans understood this. You know, we see many, many massacres sure. like this, and so it has a terrible connotation of mass attacks and killing innocent civilians and so and basically on. Basically, it's, it's extremely, in our eyes, uh, insensitive to to even display this kind of, of course, they are not doing it for the Chinese audience, but because mm -hmm. when we see uh, photos uh, that depicts atrocities mm -hmm. that committed during the Nanjing massacre, for instance, yes. very often you see this kind of weapon with mm -hmm. uh, probably body parts hanging on them. Mm -hmm. uh, let's talk about, about the recent history. Since before the Education Ministry of Japan added this mm -hmm. uh, item on the guideline, was this practiced widely in the schools in Japan? Oh, absolutely not. I mean, the idea is we were supposed to, in fact, kendo was sort of the least preferred of the martial arts because it did have some associations, the closest ones, the hand-to-hand -hand combat warfare, okay? So, and it took a while for kendo to come back, you know, after, after I was in school, so. Uh, but it, it, the most, I think, vivid memories of Ju Kendo were when Japan was starting to lose the Pacific War against the United States and the Allies. And they were preparing for the homeland defense, the final defense of Japan. They got all the civilians, and Ju Kendo is sort of an extension of village defense. They got all the civilians trained to fight to the last man, woman, and child. That never surrender, you must fight to the death. Yeah. And this was tested in Okinawa. It proved completely useless against the Americans. Americans used machine guns. We saw that guns. in the most recent movie. Right, exactly, uh, flamethrowers. Yeah. And so these people could not fight, end up being massacred, and many decided to commit suicide. But the problem here, this became a form of psychological warfare that the Japanese people were inculcated in, the notion of suicide. We must commit, if, if we're not going to win a victory, we must commit national suicide. So the rights of individual children were just trampled on. And the notion that democracy would be infinitely worse than the system that we had then. This, of course, proved to be utter nonsense. But since when have this um, practice slowly crept back into the schools in, in Japan? The idea is that I think the government of Shinzo Abe and his right-wing circle, which can, especially the education ministry, which is very conservative, does not have many former teachers in it. And this is a real problem. These are right-wing ideologues. Politicians, right-wing ideologues, bureaucrats, who really never taught in school, who hate the school teachers, by the way, for teaching kids practical skills. They want to uh, promote this nationalism so they get younger people to volunteer to join the uh, new Japanese military, which is being revived, you know, not as a self-defense force, but as a military yeah. to go out and commit these atrocities again. But when we do this in the middle school, I see no difference between this and, let's say, the child soldier problem, you know, human rights violations against children. 
being put into a war situation, trained for war. So this is, uh, I think the United Nations should investigate this. Wow. Now, Japan's education ministry said, of course, that the aim behind adopting Jukendo into the guidelines is to give students better access to traditional Japanese culture. Uh, no, this is nonsense. Our traditional culture, um, you know, uh, let's say, uh, was, is basically, our education system is based on Confucianism. That's where we got it. It was introduced from China. My ancestor, by the way, was a Confucian scholar who came from China to, one of, uh, on my maternal side, mm -hmm. to Japan, to the Shogun's family, to, to, and trained some of the Shoguns. So the idea is Confucianism, con those traditional values are the core of the education system. Weapons training was reserved only for professionals. People couldn't handle it. You just can't give weapons out. You know, we're a very anti-gun uh, anti society, anti-sword society. The idea we just can't give weapons out to everybody because there are a lot of conflicts out there. People get drunk, what happens, you know? Yeah, um, I understand that Jukendo is still part of regular training for the Japanese self-defense force. Mm -hmm. As you said, bayonet would be useless mm -hmm. in modern warfare. Right. Why do they do that? Well, again, uh, it, you know, uh, when you do traditional art, there's a lot of uh, shouting involved. You, know, you shout to raise your spirit. You know, the Japanese are quiet people, tend to be passive. So the martial arts builds up aggression. The idea you have to kill people to attack. You must have aggression. The Japanese don't have enough of it. So we have to use the martial as a vehicle to you know, sort of brainwash people in aggression. And I think this is a, the downside of our martial arts. And it's not what I learned. I learned you know, when I did judo, it wasn't a sport. It didn't matter who won or lost. The important thing is to really have developed skills of movement and to put on a great match. You know, so it was an art and not a sport or a killing practice. Right. So in the beginning, this was not included into the guidelines, but only last minute added onto the curriculum. Now, mm -hmm. um, on the logistic, on the technical side, are these guidelines legally binding? I mean, can the schools choose? And how, if that is legally binding, how much influence do you think they will have on real teaching practice? Well, I, this is a real question. Uh, probably they will not be legally done. The physical education teachers will decide what their curriculum is, and uh, they have a choice of, uh, you know, vo uh, sports vocations. Mm -hmm. But the problem is the education ministry, part of this is an attack on the teachers. They want to remove the teachers who want the kids to play volleyball and bring in more militaristic. And they may bring in people from the military and bring them in, you know, use this as put them in the physical education program to develop, to militarize the education system. My own theory is that the um, education ministry, therefore, must be abolished, replaced by a teaching uh, agency run by the teachers who know how to teach, by real teaching professionals, not by ideologues. Well, at the same time, what they teach is also a very important mm -hmm. question. Well, basically, uh, as you say, if, if, these, if the ministry is really managed by people who understand the, the value of real education, maybe that problem will be solved. But what we are seeing is not just this one particular mm -hmm. incident. For instance, we've heard about the textbooks mm -hmm. that have been most recently revised, uh, igniting anger both from China and ROK. Mm -hmm. We also heard about this kindergarten where the kids are oh, right. reci ex expected school. to recite mm -hmm. A uh, imperial, uh, imperialistic text. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What are the underlying? Is there an underlying trend of a rise of this kind of militaristic uh, education? Again, this is being pushed from the top, from the people with the defense, you know, the military-industrial complex who support the Shinzo Abe program, who want to revive uh, the Japanese military. And, and 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 it is strange at the same time, you know, that the Japanese uh, naval forces are joining the uh, Carl Vinson. Uh, group. This is an offensive, you know, this is an attack exercise. This is not a defense of Japan. This is an attack and of the are, DPR. And we're not hearing anything and, about it. <laughs> and this is our former colony, which we brutalized, treated horribly, and we're doing this again. It's, it's, uh, I think the Alba administration has gone far over the edge. It's time to remove him. Thank you very much, mm -hmm. Mr. Yoichi uh, mm -hmm. Shimatsu, a former editor with Japan Times.